Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katerina and I hope you're all having a great day so far. Today I'm going to take you through a review, some demonstration, and some swatches of the Simply Spoiled Perfection Palette, aka Contour Palette. Let's get started. <music> have noticed I've been using this palette a ton in a lot of my recent videos and a lot of you guys were just kind of curious about it, like wow that thing is huge or wow I'd like to see a review on it so today I thought I would just sit down kind of break it down for you guys and just go through all of the shades and my the pros and the cons what it looks like on the skin because I do have it on my face right now and yeah and some slight comparisons as well. So first thing is the price. This guy retails for $42. I have an awesome, awesome coupon code for you guys to get it for $19 with my code Katerina Perf. I will pop it right here as well as pop it in the description box with their link and all that stuff as well. So talking about the packaging, it comes in something kind of similar to BH Cosmetics, More Brushes, Crown Brush, Royal Care Cosmetics, any of those brands that really creates like contour palettes, the like 120 eyeshadow palettes, things like that, but they're all kind of different in my opinion and have different formulas, textures, and everything like that. In terms of the shades here, I actually really like the shade selection and I'll either insert a close-up because I wanted to pick up all the true colors. Like this one is a very beautiful banana yellow shade but I think on camera it's pulling more white. But basically what we have here is six completely matte shades and you have a stark white up here which this is the one that I just do not use all that often. Um, we have a peachy shade which I love. A beautiful like light tan shade, a kind of rosy coral peachy shade, and then a really beautiful cool tone deep dark brown. And the banana yellow. <laughs> but my favorites out of this palette, if you are curious, is the banana shade, of course the contour shade, and then these two right here. So I think now's a good time to just go ahead and break into swatches. I'll take you through arm swatches of all of them. And right now my skin complexion I would say is about medium tan, and I have an olive complexion if that kind of helps you guys out. Now I kind of want to walk you through how I use this, and this is where I'm going to insert all the demonstrations on how I created this face today, which I just realized I don't have a highlighter on. One second. Yes, highlight. Highlight's good. I'm going to walk you through how I did my face today and how I've been doing it in a lot of my tutorials. I first go on my foundation, my concealer, like normal, and then I want to set that area. So what I really love doing is mixing this banana shade right here with the peach shade. I mix these two together, and then I use a, I use a tapered brush like this, kind of dab it in there, and then I work right under my under eye area and really do patting motions, pressing it in, and then I also bring it on my eyelids as well. This really helps brighten up the face, removes all of that oil, so it mattifies the skin, but what I really like about it is, like I said, the brightening effect. I love it so much, and mixing that yellow and the peach is just perfect for my under eye area because it enhances what my concealers do, and it's going to ensure that it's not going to crease all day long or anything like that, and it's going to last a really long time as well. Love these two shades so much. So ideally, I do not really like to go for this palette in terms of setting my whole face because I have oily skin, so I like to use um, a mattifying powder like this guy right here, the Maybelline Fit Me. Matt and Poreless. <laughs> I did want to show you what it can do if you do want to set your face, and I love it because it really blurs out your pores. It does mattify the skin for the application purpose, but it doesn't have that technology in there to keep you matte throughout the day. But, so what I like to do is I mix these two shades right down here, the peachy and then the light tan. Because I do have a tan going on right now, if you have fair skin, I think this would be a beautiful bronzer on you. So I mix these two with a big old kabuki brush, and I do, again, padding motions all over my face. And you're going to see it instantly mattifies the skin. It really reduces my pores, makes them look airbrushed, flawless, and just beautiful. I really, really love these two as well. Then it's time to contour, which when I got this, this shade is very, very intimidating in the pan, but you guys, do not be scared of it. It gives me the most sculpted but natural, beautiful shadows to my face, and that's exactly what it does. It's like that true contour powder, but it's really going to give you those nice shadows. That's what I love about it so much. So I take a Sephora contour brush, the number 74, and I first start working, you'll see really heavily, kind of up by my hairline and my cheekbones, because that's where I want the most product. So I really kind of carve that area out, and then bring it down slightly right under my eyebrow, and then I take the rest and I start blending up my temples, the sides of my forehead, just to kind of blend everything together and make it all look like one. Afterwards, I do blend everything back out with a kabuki brush because it can be a little bit stark at first. But what I like to do is take a kabuki brush and then blend upwards with the product because then you're going to ensure that it's not going to be dripping down your face 
bronzer doesn't really drip down your face, but it won't look muddy or anything like that. It is just so beautiful. So then what I like to do is I also like to use this on my lip and my nose. You guys know I always contour my lip and my nose. It's just become like part of my makeup routine. So I take a little bit more of that deep color and I pinch my brush together and do a really light shadow right under my lip. This is going to create a fuller lip. It's going to make your lip kind of pop out a little bit more and I just really like the effect. A very long Italian nose. So I put a shadow right here at the very bottom and then I go on the sides of my nose as well. And then I blend again everything out with the Kabuki brush. Now I wanted to break into a couple comparisons for you guys. Um, you guys know I love my Anastasia contour kit and I, I used it a lot. This little guy, um, this is what it looks like. You do get more of like a yellow banana shade in here. And I've showed this part in quite a few videos now. But I just wanted you guys to see the size comparison. This is Anastasia. This is the um, Simply Spoiled Perfection palette. This thing is freaking huge and you can get it for $19 where this is like $40 some dollars or $36. So it's a really good deal. So I also have the BH um, Color Palette, the Professional Blush Palette. If you guys are familiar with BH Cosmetics, um, Coastal Scents, things like that, you know the texture of these. The Simply Spoiled powders are more smooth and velvety than these ones, but not as much as the Anastasia Beverly Hills. If that makes sense, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a idea of what these powders are like. But they are very pigmented. They just go on so beautifully, you guys. I cannot say enough good things about it. These pans are so freaking huge, I can't get over it. I can't imagine going through this whole palette, so that's something I really like as well. I love the formula of these. I love how they blend onto the skin. They're not muddy, they're not patchy, they don't make it cakey. That's something I do want to really enforce. They do not make anything look cakey on your skin, and I love that so much. Sometimes when you start adding more and more powder, it can start to look cakey. You can start to see the powder on your skin. I personally don't see any of it on my skin. It just looks like I have natural shadows and, yeah. Overall thoughts, you guys, I think this is a must-have in your collection, especially if you're building a collection or just starting and getting into makeup, getting into contouring and all of that, because this is a wonderful palette to start sculpting and playing around with your face. I think that completes this video. Again, I will link them down below, and if you do want to use my coupon code, KatarinaPerf, to get it for $19 instead of $42, I'll link that down below as well. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you want to check out some more videos from me, head on over to the Trust Me Cosmetics website for the TMC Beauty Blog. I also upload three videos a week there, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!